Hi there guys and girls, of course. I'm just trying out the uh, FT-1000 Mark V field. I haven't used it for a while. And the reason why is I just knocked a little antenna up to 10 meters. I'll show you in a second. Something really basic, it's just sat on the ground in the garden. So fair enough, conditions are great. I'm not hearing quite as much DX at the minute, but I'm going to give it a whirl, see how it performs. And I'll show you the antenna. It's an old tank whip, a nine foot stainless steel tank whip. So I've not made a contact yet. I've noticed it's resonant on 10 meters, 12 meters, and it tunes on, it's about two on 15, so it tunes with two, it's pretty good. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. Got a nice reception. And we're here in Oregon. Nice, nah, Oregon on the nine foot tank whip. Roger, thank you for five and nine, Harold, and thank you for first contact with you. Are you on my lock? 73 from Albania. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. Mike Zero, Yankee. Yeah, Yankee Kilo Sierra, just trying out a little mobile antenna. You're five by nine plus 20 dB, and my name is Simon. Simon, and it's first contact with you. You're five over nine in Albania. <laughs> wow, that's fantastic. I'm just experimenting. I normally use the uh, three element Yagi, but I just put a nine foot ta stainless steel tank whip on a small ground plane system sat in the garden and just thought I'd try it. So 100 watts on and uh, five by nine plus 20 from you. Over. Yes, nice. Thank you. Uh, working well, the antenna, solid signal. Uh, running 1.5 and antenna 5 element monobender. Simon, 73. There was another station, nice. mobile, come again. That'll do for me. So, yeah, that's uh, Albania. Obviously, not massive DX, but still pretty good. Let's have a quick. Uh, I'll just get him in the log. Yeah, that's Albania. Yeah, that's waiting for this guy's call so yeah I'll show you the antenna in a second it's uh, pretty cool obviously simple uh, probably had the antenna for it's ancient I've had it for years it's an old uh, 11 meter band tank whip So I'm on the uh, nine foot stainless steel tank whip. It's just sat in the garden. Just worked Albania, five by nine plus 10 dB. And I'm running and my, my uh, world FT 1000 MP. Alpha, How are you doing out there? So I'm just gonna try and get another contact. I've made Albania, first call. Band's not quite as good, but probably because I'm on this nine foot wow. tank whip. Thank you. I'll put you down for number one. Uh, QRZ, Alpha, Alpha, 3, Bravo. Mike Zero, Yankee, Kilo, Sierra. Mike Zero, Yankee, Kilo, Sugar. Alusa Whiskey. Lucy Oscar, Zulu Whiskey again. So he's not so strong, but obviously stateside. Worked before on 15, and right now I'm just running a simple uh, mobile 9 foot Thank you, you're 59, my number 1585 in Berks County, Pennsylvania, over. So he's obviously in a contest. Just have a quick listen. Alabama uh, State, uh, Pasco. Yeah, 
Okay. Well, uh, yeah, I look forward to working you out. So, yeah, nice to be on the FT-1000. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sugar. Kilo Charlie Speed, Uniform Kilo Anchor, ready in the morning. Uh, you five and seven from EMO School, Bert. Uh. Money Saints for contact to the C-Rig in 73. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sugar. On Zulu Zulu, stroke three. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. Something Yankee Kilo Sierra? Yeah, thanks very much. It's Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. 100 watts into a 9 foot tank whip. You're 5 by 9. Hey, Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. Good evening. Hey, you're 5 and 9 from me, Moscow, right? Yeah, thanks for 5 9. Good evening, uh, the Seba Daspidania. Good DX. Uh, Siba, uh, 73. Here is the radio Alpha 1. Zulu, Zulu, stroke 3. So, all quite good. On this uh, tank whip. Alpha, Zulu, November. I'm just having a quick look. We'll show you the uh, antenna shortly, but we've made what? it in Albania and Russia on it. It's just sat on the ground. It's nothing uh, to write home about. So yeah, I'm on the uh, New York repeater with it now. Not quite as strong as my other radio, obviously. When I uh, power up the, uh, the main radio, bring the volume down there. So I've got the beam, obviously, on that one, and I'm getting an S9. So a big difference, but it is FM, and it's uh, obviously sat on the ground, is this particular antenna. I'm just going to turn that back off. And uh, check out this again. Okay, that's FM. Let's just check out 12 meters. I'll bring the tuner on. So a nice stateside signal, obviously. It's a fairly quiet reception. Fifteen meters, or so twelve meters, twenty ten meters, fifteen meters. Stand by, stand by, stand by, gentlemen. Victor Echo Four, Sussex, Quebec, uniform. Give me your Sussex. Yes, Victor Echo Four, Alpha, Quebec, uniform. Cameras here, five and nine. No problem to copy you with that QRM. Victor Echo Four, Alpha, Quebec, uniform. Your five and eight, five and nine. All the best, seventy-three. Bye. Seventy-three. You are there. Mexico Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. So we've got a, a resonant signal. Mexico Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. The station ending with Kilo. Okay, Victor Alpha 7, Kilo X ray Kilo. Good morning, you're 5 and 9. My name is Thomas, okay? I'm just taking a listen because I want to show you this uh, actual antenna. This is just a shorty showing you what is possible. Echo caller for Africa. CQ Africa, CQDX Africa. India 04 November, Peter Echo call DX Africa, by over. Allora, no Africa and uh, it put an antenna for. For, for third side, all right, slowly, slowly for third side. India Zulu 4, November Papaico, for third side in North America. Oh, yes. Uh, on flight in my room, stand by two, uh, two seconds. So, yeah, it's going to be nice, obviously. Welcome, Canada. 
I copy Peter Alpha 7 Quebec Zulu Zulu Team CQ15 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 Radio 2 Kilo Whiskey Radio 2 Kilowatt Whiskey Calling CQ and standing by Mike Zero Yankee Kilo Sierra Mike Zero, Yankee, Kilo, Sierra. Many station calling. Very difficult copy of call sign. It was four stations. I have only Golf Zero, Yankee, Golf, Sierra. Good yeah, evening, that, thank you. This must be me, I surely. I five, five, fifty-five with QRM. My name is Vlad. Victoria, London, America, Delta. Vlad near Kaliningrad. QSL? Yeah, QSL, Vlad. I hope it's uh, myself you picked up. It's Mexico Zero, Yankee, Kilo, Sierra. Mexico Zero, Yankee, Kilo, Sugar. My name is Simon, and I'm running a small 9-foot tank whip, a mobile tank whip with 100 watts. Over. QSL. Uh, mobile 100 waters, I correct your call, Mexico, Mexico, okay, Mexico zero. Thank you for the QSO, good luck, good DX, and I hope to meet you again in the best condition. 73, Jaime, спасибо, до свидания. Okay, Vlad, thank you for Kalingrad, great copy, and I'm very pleased to make you with this small antenna this side. Normally run my free element Yagi. Good signal from you, 5x9 solid copy, 7-3 Dasiba Daspedanya, good DX, thank you. No, I copy you 5-9, uh, what is change? I copy <laughs> you now 5-9, very good, uh, very good. What is your power now? Yeah, Roger Vlad, I'm running 100 watts, about 100, and it's an FT1000 uh, MP, old radio, just uh, giving it a go. And I've got a small stainless steel tank whip on the ground just experimenting normally use my ftdx 101 mp and uh, a free element yagi but today i'm having a bit of fun with a stainless steel 30 year old tank whip over roger 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 <laughs> and uh, before i copy you very strong very plus five nine it was uh, five nine uh, okay, uh, this is a uh, condition. <laughs> this is condition was very, very good uh, two minutes before. Okay, I'm a 73. Спасибо, до свидания. Yeah, thanks for your time, Vlad. Great contact. Enjoy the band and uh, good DX to you from Yorkshire, England, near Bradford and Leeds. Name is Simon. Seven feet the sea. Bye bye. Bye bye. Nice one. So yeah, that were a bit of fun, guys. I'm going to show you the uh, you antenna. The radio two kilo whiskey. Because obviously, yeah, it's not supposed to work on 15 meters, but it seems to work 15, 12, and 10. And uh, what I've done is, I bought an old, uh, I think it's a, called a Discon, an aircraft receiving antenna or multi-band antenna. Probably bought that about 15, 20 years ago from a, a radio amateur rally. Cost me 10 pounds, something like that, 10, 15 pounds. And then I've had the stainless steel tank whip, which I used to use uh, back in the 80s and 90s. And it's pretty good, uh, well it's ancient, but I just dug it out and I figured it would be quite good to give it a blast. So that's what we've been doing here, let's take a look at it right now. You can, you can see the uh, Hustler Vertical looking cool in the background there. That one's got a lot of radials on it, it works pretty good. So yeah, it's getting a little bit, bit dark, but you can probably see my face now. So there's the uh, Yagi. In the background uh, behind me that's a three element Cushcraft MA5B but right now I'm going to show you the uh, new super dynamite antenna here we go folks so that's the base like I said it's sitting on the ground so it's just an old um, aircraft um, die cone or disc cone or whatever you want to call it and I've just sat it on the ground and uh, a bit of rhubarb in the background but yeah it's a stainless steel tank whip and um, pretty uh, decent it's nine feet in tall in height and you can see uh, it's just sitting there nicely so I've had this particular tank whip for years and what I did a while back is I just modified this antenna 
normally you've got um, horizontal elements coming out here for VHF so I'll just stick a coupling on here and we've got the fitting for the uh, stainless tank whip as it just screws in um, hopefully you can see that quite clear so ancient bit of kit with the radials going in and I've actually buried these into the soil so I've just pushed it down so it's making contact in the ground and it's just hovering there nicely so simple simple uh, old tank whip let's just clean it up for you hopefully and uh, this is what it's doing it's just sitting here you can see I haven't even cleaned it it's got a few cobwebs on it but decent diameter of uh, stainless steel quality uh, they don't make them like this anymore so yeah built to last and like I said already it's uh, doing a fine job as you saw there so yeah there's the beam obviously in its rightful place and uh, there's a rotator and it's kind of camouflaged this beam so this is the tank whip so we'll view a simple ground mounted and we're cracking out worked Albania and a couple of Russian stations so well happy with that so simple but effective just probably might think about mounting it higher up I've got a couple of um, brackets on the house left over from when I had the satellite array on the back quite surprising what you can do with something simple ground mounted but it worked quite well obviously conditions are particularly good so if that's about it this is the uh, radio still working well people keep asking me if I've still got it I've got no plans to get rid of this bad boy very nice piece of kit still working well and that's 15 meters so yeah quite surprised just how well it worked then obviously wasn't a surprise on them um, when we moved up the band 12 meters 10 meters quite close so that wants a massive problem for tuning but uh, 15 well yeah it worked on that as well so a good result for the tank whip Breaking. Who's it running? Uh, although she has run a couple of times, but she uh, she really breaks a lot. I worry about her a bit because it, you know. It, you know so yeah, since we are uh, pulling her in great again, Van's obviously nice and lively today. As is the ten metre band. One last call. Mexico Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. Mexico Zero, Yankee something Kilo? Yeah, Mexico Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra, your 5x9 zero, 01. Good copy, over. Yeah, QSL 171, Pennsylvania QSL party, just trying out a 9 foot stainless steel tank whip on a ground mount and uh, 100 watts. Great copy, thank you very much indeed. 73, enjoy the uh, QSL party. Bye bye. Yeah, so good stuff. Kilo free Charlie Tango in the log, just about. So once again, thanks for watching, following, and all the rest of it, all the comments. Appreciate it. Oh, that was good fun. And I uh, know I must have mentioned the nine foot stainless steel tank whip a few times on this video, but certainly uh, I've enjoyed making this bit of video and bit of fun as well and uh, my furry friends just come here to say hello so catch up with you real soon and uh, i might be back later who knows but in the meantime enjoy the dx and the sunshine from m0 yks from the shack catch you soon bye bye